Hello, I'm Priyan, a graduate student at Harvard University. Today, I'm going to present our work Dynavis, dynamically synthesized UI widgets for visualization editing. This is a joint work between Harvard and Microsoft. Modern visualization tools like Tableau and Power BI has greatly reduced the effort it takes to create visualizations. They have introduced smart defaults to automatically fill in hundreds of chat parameters hiding low-level details. But still, when the user has to perform fine-grained customizations, they will have to identify and edit these parameters. Let's take the example of our friend Alice, who is working on a line chart showing some stock trends for top tech companies using Vigalite. Now she wants to start customizing this chart by moving the x-axis title to the left. To do this, Alice has to change the encoding.x.axis.title anchor property to the value start. Even the simple edit is not trivial. Alice must be able to distinguish between chart property concepts like title anchor, stroke width, etc. and also remember the exact property and the appropriate value required to make the edit. To alleviate this, emerging research has given us natural language interfaces. To understand natural language interfaces, let's take another example. Here, Alice wants to edit the chart to make the lines thicker. To do this with a natural language interface, Alice can simply give the command in natural language, make the lines thicker, and the tool will automatically edit the appropriate property. Though this solves the problem of remembering property names, Natural language interfaces have their own sets of challenges too. For example, Alice might not know the exact value of the parameter she needs to change and wants to make a series of fine-tuning edits to find the right value. Giving natural language commands repeatedly is overwhelming. Also, she cannot easily repeat these edits in the future. And when the change is made, there's no visual feedback of how the parameter was changed, only the final visualization. To solve all these problems, we introduce Dynavis. Dynavis automatically generates UI widgets from users' natural language commands. Let's take the same example of Alice. When she gives the natural language command, make the lines thicker, Dynavis not only edits the chart, but also provides her a UI widget she can further use to make fine-grained edits. To understand Dynavis, let us look at a scenario with Alice, a consultant analyzing stock trends of technology companies. We will show you how she uses Dynavis to create visualizations to present her analysis results. As soon as Alice imports her data, she is presented with a chart creation screen, where she can either enter a prompt to create the chart or import an existing Vigalite visualization. She decides to prompt by typing create a line chart showing the stock trend. Dynavis creates the required chart for her using an LLM. She is now presented with the main screen of Dynavis. On the left is the data she imported. In the center is the visualization she is currently working on. Above the visualization is a command bar for specifying edit commands in natural language. On the right is the widget panel that will contain the dynamically synthesized widgets as Alice is editing the chart. Alice now wants to adjust the legend position to keep the legend contained within the main chart canvas. So she enters the command, move the legend to the left in the command bar. Based on the instruction, Dynavis updates the legend position in the chart and also automatically generates a widget that will let Alice further edit the legend position. After experimenting with multiple options, she finalizes the top left corner position. Next, Alice wants to increase the x-axis label size without making the labels overlap. To achieve this, she has to simultaneously edit the label size and the rotation angle. She starts with an exploratory command. Increase the x-axis text size to 20 and rotate the labels by 60 degrees. Dynavis updates the chart and also presents her with a widget that lets her edit the text size and the rotation angle simultaneously. Now Alice wants to modify the default color palette of the chart. 
Since she doesn't know concrete colors in mind, she decides to ask for a widget to explore. She clicks on the plus button on the top right corner to open the widget creation command box and provides the prompt change color of each stock symbol. Dynavis creates a color picker widget and even knows all the symbols that are present in her current dataset. As Alice finishes editing the colors, she is now joined by her coworker Alex, who wants to compare the stock trends only for Microsoft and IBM symbols. He provides the command compare only for MSFT and IBM in the edit command bar. Dynavis runs a filter transform to only show the two symbols. Additionally, he is also provided with a symbol filter widget that allows him to filter one or more companies of his choosing. The tool also identifies this transformation and intelligently allows Alex to enable or disable this on the fly. As a final step, Alex now wants to zoom into a specific date range to highlight the trend and requests for a date slicer widget using the widget command bar. Using this widget, Alex can zoom in and out of specific time frame to make a comparison. Finally, Alice and Alex are now ready to present their results. Now let's look at how Dynavis is implemented. Dynavis has three main components, the data summarizer, chart engine, and the widget engine. The data summarizer provides the appropriate contextual information to the LLM about the data. The chart engine takes the user's natural language command and edits the Vegalite visualization spec. And the widget engine uses the user's natural language commands to generate the appropriate widget. This involves generating the right HTML code for the UI and the right JavaScript code for the backend callback function. To evaluate Dynavis compared to the state-of-the-art systems, we conducted a within subjects comparative study with a baseline and experiment condition. There were 24 participants in the study and each participant had to do two tasks, one with the baseline and one with the experiment tool. Tools in both experiment and baseline conditions supported natural language command to edit visualizations. They also supported the basic set of pre-populated widgets. The only difference in the experiment conditions was the ability to create dynamic widgets. For each participant, we measured their task success, time taken to complete the task, the usage metrics, and their self-reported NASA TLX questionnaire. Participants using Dynavis were more successful compared to the baseline. And also, they took less time to complete all the subtasks compared to the baseline condition. Aggregated results from post-study NASA TLX questionnaire also shows that participant felt less mental demand, felt less hurried, felt more successful, had to put less effort and felt less frustrated when using Dynavis compared to the baseline condition. When looking at the usage metrics from telemetry, participant using Dynavis provided significantly less natural language commands compared to the baseline condition and this was entirely replaced by widget use. In the baseline condition, 6 out of 24 participants only used natural language commands to edit, whereas the majority of 18 participants preferred to use pre-populated widgets when available before giving natural language commands to edit. In the experiment condition with Dynavis, 9 of the 24 participants preferred to only use widgets instead of natural language commands, and 10 participants preferred to use natural language command for broad edits and widgets for fine-grain edits. So in general, users prefer to use widgets for repeated and iterative fine-grain edits. Participants said dynamic widgets makes repetitive and iterative edits easier. For instance, P6 said dynamic widgets were faster than asking the AI again and again using natural language commands. Dynamic widgets also provide visual feedback, enhancing understanding and exploration. For instance, P23 said the real-time update with widgets rather than waiting for the AI was super cool. They can interactively see what happens with the chart as they were interacting with the dynamic widgets. 
Participants also noted that prompting to create dynamic widgets was easier and more reliable than giving natural language commands. And also, using dynamic widgets enhances the sense of control the user feels while editing visualizations. Finally, participants said dynamic widgets enable customizations. However, it can be overwhelming during an extended use. For instance, P7 here says using dynamic widgets is like writing a whole tool customized for yourself. However, P8 notes that if they made a lot of dynamic widgets, it can get tricky to manage. That's the end of our talk. For more information, please do read our paper.